Welcome to Peace Make TV. In this video tutorial for Reaper, we're going to take a look at a quick tip when working with stretch markers. Now, stretch markers are great when you want to time align and adjust and fine tune any of your audio that you're working with. But one of the things you need to be aware of is that if you don't pin the start and the end points of the area that you're going to work with, you can very quickly disorientate yourself inside the editing area. So let me just show you what I'm talking about. If I just right click, go to stretch markers and add a stretch marker at this point, and I'll do the same at, should we say, for there, I'll use Shift and W to add a marker in. If I start adjusting the audio, you can see everything to the left and the right hand side of this particular stretch marker is adjusting. So we're going to find that we could very quickly and easily lose what we're doing. So what you want to do before you start is define the area you want to work with by putting a starting uh, marker in there. I'm putting an end marker in there and we'll just put one where our playhead is at the moment. So Shift and W. So now we'll find that if I adjust this center marker, because we pin both the right and the left hand side, the start and the end point of this particular block of, of media that we want to work with, then I know that everything outside that is going to remain unaffected while I'm working with editing all of these stretch markers. It's very important to make sure you do this so you don't, like I say, disorientate yourself or end up completely messing up the audio throughout the entire track and you've got to go back and start again or try to, try, try to time align it uh, retrospectively. I hope you found this little tip for Reaper useful. If you have, hit the subscribe button below to sign up to the Peacemaking TV YouTube channel. Keep up to date with all the videos we post on you. If you've got any feedback, please pop them in the comments below. If you've got any questions or tutorials and tips you'd like to see in the future, please by all means just let me know in the comments below and we'll do our best to put something up online for you. Until ne next time, take care.